This is Professor L. B. Gaikwad's English Literature Web. I am Professor L. B. Gaikwad. He is teaching today the topic Lecture 396. The topic is Spoken English uh, for Competitive Examinations. This is the part 17. Before going to the uh, part, I will request you to watch, like, subscribe, comment and share my channel. The second request I will do is that I have put all the notes in the description box. Please see all the notes while watching your video. You will feel as if you are using the PPT while watching your video. Now we are going to the trophy. Ought to plus main verb is equal to ought to go, ought to play. It means that we have taken the helping verb ought to plus main verb, it means that ought to plus go and ought to uh, plus play. It has become ought to go and ought to play. Ought to play becomes ought to have played. It means that we have taken ought to plus have and then we have taken the past participle of the main verb. That is the change when we change the particular ought to uh, plus main verb into the indirect speech I will say. Uh, for example, she said to him, comma inverted comma started, I ought to play cricket for you, comma inverted comma close and full stop. Again I will read uh, this uh, uh, example without comma and inverted comma. She said to him, I ought to play cricket for you. Now the answer is, she told him that she ought to have played cricket for him. Now we will see the detailed explanation of this example. She would become she because she is a female proper noun and we have studied that the proper noun doesn't change while changing into the indirect speech. Remember, when we find in the direct speech the proper nouns, these proper nouns do not change, means they remain the proper nouns only. We cannot take other forms in place of them. Said to would become told. Because the speaker and the listener both are available in the direct speech. Remember, here said to has become told because both are available there. Means if in the sentence the speaker and the listener means the subject and the object both are present then uh, the reporting verb said to becomes told that is the explanation or that is the rule of the indirect speech. If there is only the speaker and no listener is there, said comes there without to and said remains said only while changing into the indirect speech. Remember, if there is only the speaker, then there always comes only said and that said remains said. We cannot take their toll in place of said. Now, next is him would become him because it relates with a proper noun. Remember, there is the he in the sentence and that's why this uh, him, I will say he means what? I will say him. This him would become him because it is the proper noun or it, or it relates with the proper noun and that's why there will be no change at all. We should omit the comma and the inverted comma. Remember, the comma and the inverted comma are omitted or we cannot put them there. They are cancelled from the particular uh, sentence I will say. And we should put there that conjunction. It means that we should take that conjunction in place of the comma and inverted comma. Means we should cancel them and we should take that conjunction in place of them. At the end of the sentence, we should put the full stop because the sentence is of the simple sentence category. Remember when we have ended the particular indirect speech, 
then we should give the full stop at the end of the sentence because that sentence is the category of simple sentence because in every simple sentence the uh, indirect speech takes the full stop at the end i became she because i is a female there so, so remember there is i and that i is uh, relating with the female female means a girl or woman and that's why here i will say that this i has become she ought to play uh, becomes ought to have played uh, ought to would be always ought to and play would be have played that is the explanation cricket would be cricket because it is a common noun and we have seen that the nouns don't change remember here cricket is the noun that is the i will say common noun or we can say the proper noun also means if there are the proper nouns or the uh, common nouns in the direct speech while changing into the indirect speech we cannot uh, change them we should put them as they are available there for would be for because no preposition changes while changing into the indirect speech remember here for is given as the preposition and every preposition uh, does not change means uh, preposition remains the preposition here that is the rule you would be him because you is a male there remember there is the you and that you has become him because it is related with a male there that is the uh, man and that's why it has become him at the end of the in uh, i will say in direct speech we should put a full stop remember always we should put the uh, full stop means we should give the full stop at the end of the sentence of the indirect speech because it is the sentence of the simple type or i will say simple sentence and only the beginning uh, alphabet means the alphabet which has come at the beginning would be in the capital sense that is the big script means remember the beginning should be capital and at the end of the sentence there should be this full stop now there is the topic conclusion now we have come to the end this video will help you make strong your spoken english and you can face your competitive examinations confidently remember if you see if you watch if you like my videos continuously then these videos will help you to make your uh, competitive examinations uh, confidentially listen these videos again and again you can develop surely your writing and speaking skills so here today i am stopping again we will meet in the next video uh, till then thank you thank you very much